Hi, let's look at the sales order from an accounting perspective. First of all, when we create a sales order, it starts out as an estimate. An estimate doesn't flow through to QuickBooks. After you create a sales order, it becomes issued. At that point, a sales order in an issued status also does not flow through to QuickBooks. So creating a sales order in Fishbowl at that point does nothing in QuickBooks. Okay, But let's look at a few things that will affect QuickBooks once the sales order has been shipped. Because that's the point that a transaction is sent to QuickBooks. When a sales order is shipped, it creates an invoice for the quantity that was shipped in QuickBooks. So I just want to look at a, a few things here. You'll notice that this sales order has a class, Salt Lake City class. This class will be tied to the AR and income portion of the journal entry of the invoice that's created in QuickBooks. So if you'd like the AR and income journal entry to be classed, this is the class that affects that. Now the line itself also can be classed. If we click edit and look at the line we'll see that the line itself can be classed. Now this class is tied to the other side of the invoice, the credit to inventory and debit to COGS portion of the invoice. So if you'd like that journal entry to be classed, you need to assign a class to the line. Now this class here will automatically be assigned to the sales order from the customer screen. If we go to the customer, you'll see that the customer has a default class that can be assigned. So once you add a customer to a sales order, that class will take over. This class can also be attached to the location group. So those two, if they're different, may compete with each other. Now, if you create a new customer on the sales order and save it, the customer will flow through to QuickBooks. So to know what it's going to do in QuickBooks you need to understand um, a couple things. The price on one hand. I probably picked a bad example. I picked a sales order with a credit return. Let's go to uh, just a regular sell. Okay. So the line is a sell type. It has a price. That's going to be the side of your AR and income journal entry. When we click edit, we can zoom in to the cost to see what cost is going to be associated with the um, credit to inventory and debit to COGS. Now, once again, Fishbowl will use the cost associated when the sales order is shipped. So if this sales order sits here for a month or two, these costs will change as time goes by. You need to know what the cost is when the sales order is shipped. And also an important thing to understand is you need to know what costing um, what uh, costing method you're using. That's found under accounting tools costing. So there's standard, FIFO, LIFO, and average, right? When we come here to look at costing in the fishbowl module we see it has average, it has standard, it has all these costing layers. So Fishbowl uses whatever costing layer you're using and, or excuse me, whatever costing method you're using and then um, whatever the cost is at the point of shipment. Okay. So another perspective to look at in the sales order module is payment. If you accept a payment it doesn't matter what status the sales order is in, whether it's estimate status or issued status, that payment will flow through to QuickBooks and create a payment. So we also looked at another thing, uh, sales type on the line. We 
accidentally ran into a cells order here, but it, it looks it's probably good to note. If the type is a credit return, then when we receive this item in the receiving screen, that will create a credit memo in QuickBooks. So thank you for joining us today. If you have any other questions about the effects of your sales order entry on the accounting side, give us a call or reach out to us at brandoconsulting.com.